hey, who's that guy? Um, so this week in our implementation, this is actually one that we did uh, internally. This is a function using an email workflow for tracking the last email sent to any particular contact related to an account that has a deal open for it. Um, so essentially our goal here is just to make sure that clients are receiving ongoing communications, um, you know, updates on tasks, uh, requests for next meeting, things like that on a regular basis. So we wanted to create a date field on a particular deal that would update itself anytime a contact in that account is sent an email. Now, that phrase is really important for this because, um, you know, in a Zoho implementation, we are oftentimes working with multiple stakeholders, right? We might be working with Greg on the sales side and we're working with Freddie on the marketing side, right? And they might be kind of like sharing a deal with us, right? One budget, but we're using it for these two different uh, projects. So we want to make sure that we kind of look up to the account and then look down to the deals uh, in terms of like the flow of data as we're running this automation. So first step is to ensure that all relevant users have their IMAP integration activated and set to public uh, for their email accounts. Jordan, our director of consulting, wanted to give me a hard time because he thought this code was bugging out, but he did not have his IMAP set up. So that is necessary for this. It needs to be connected. Otherwise, the CRM doesn't know an email is sent um, and it's not able to trigger this function. Yes, Jordan, I did just slide that in to the show uh, to give you a hard time. So after that's all set up, everyone's got their IMAP. Uh, we set up a workflow trigger on emails in CRM. Um, essentially, the same way you can trigger a workflow on the creation of a contact or a lead, you can trigger a workflow anytime an email is sent or received uh, by a lead or contact. So when an email is sent, in this case, I don't really care if we're receiving them for the use case of this. This is about us responding, us reaching out. Um, then the function will grab the account related to the contact that received it and pull a list of all the deals related to that account. And then for each deal, it will check if the type of that deal is service. That's kind of the, the record that we use to manage an ongoing engagement as a service deal. Um, then the function will date stamp the appropriate field with the date that that email was sent. So really the goal of this is just to give like a quick view where a consultant can look at their list of deals go, you know what, like this person hasn't had an email from me in five days. I think I'm waiting for them on a certain project or a certain file that we need. Let me go ahead and just check in and send a ping over to them. Um, so because it's built by me, we're going to put it in the lower level of uh, technical uh, requirements for this. I thought about tapping you and Greg, but I hadn't written Dayluge in a little while and I thought it'd be fun. Um, but super useful implementation, right? And kind of just taking advantage of that emails workflow trigger. Over the last year or so, Zoho has done a lot of work to add more functionality to how email integrates with CRM. Um, and this is one of those use cases that works out really nicely. Yeah. Uh, I know that we've we've done a lot of similar uh, workflows like this uh, that can also expand to uh, other activities, you know, like uh, a task being completed or, a, you know, like uh, we've created like a, like a last touch date. Um, yeah. Uh, this is just kind of a more specific version of that. Um, and then just to just to reiterate, uh, help me make help me and the viewers uh, understand. When you say that every relevant user has to have their IMAP integration set, uh, do you mean anybody who is involved in this function, or just anybody in the like? Does everybody in the CRM need to have their IMAP set up? or only the people that would be checked via this function? Good question. So this function, like you could bolt on to this function that only emails from certain user profiles or user roles count. Um, version one of this is very broad. So really like anyone who you would want an email from them to trigger this flow would need to have their IMAP integrated. So like technically, you know, you don't send a lot of emails directly to clients. So if yours wasn't integrated, mm -hmm. probably no deal. Um, I think it is, but if it wasn't, it wouldn't really be a problem here. An update to this function that I might make later is to make it only trigger if it is sent by the owner of that deal, for example. Um, but because like multiple stakeholders, maybe I'm involved, maybe you're helping out with something like that should count mm -hmm. as the touch. But you could surely right. make this increasingly specific by looking at right. users or role. And, and so if, if somebody doesn't have their IMAP set up, it doesn't prevent the workflow from working on other users Correct. who do have their IMAP set up. It just means that any emails that user sends from the CRM 
won't trigger it. Won't right? trigger. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, sweet. With that, I, also, I think we're ready. To- I also oh, go ahead. We're we're almost ready. I did have one more. Uh, I did have one more joke about you, uh, and that was the what you say that you wanted to like kind of get in there and get your hands dirty with deluge again. It brought into my mind some of those times that you ever gone to like a like a fast food restaurant and you go up to the counter and like the manager like the floor manager or the, maybe even the franchise owner is like just happens to be there that day and he hops it he or she hops in on you know on the register and they're just like they're so extra because they're like oh, yeah. i'm gonna show all of my workers how the ultimate customer experience <laughs> works especially in time oh hello oh we're doing some daily for you today oh love to hear that oh, yeah. love to hear that oh you enjoy you enjoying your time here it's not oh great to hear that great to hear that hey god it's we got a <laughs> it's been a while since i've been up here well you've got to bring the a game oh he's got to bring the a game <laughs> <laughs>